What's going on, guys? Uh, Jay West here. Welcome to Jay West Reviews. Last Ronin, baby. Last Ronin. So we got the last Ronin in based off of the uh, comic run. That, that comic was beautiful. Um, I, I got to finish the last issue. I've been putting it off, man. Um, but yeah, I got to finish the last issue. Uh, so, so no spoilers. Um, so I'm going to try to do this like a spoiler, uh, spoiler, less spoiler free review. So I'll just refer to him as Ronan. I won't say who he is for all those of you who have not read it. I suggest you read it. I suggest I finish reading it. <laughs> uh, but we're going to get into the figure right now, man. So now these are supposed to be hitting stores um, probably sometime in October. Uh, so you probably will see him hit your, I don't know if it's going to hit Walmart or Target. Um, get him a big bad toy store, Entertainment Earth. I got this from AliExpress because I, I, I take gambles and chances on stuff like that. Um, because I'm an opener, I, I open all my boxes, and the box actually came in really good condition. Aside from like this being like bent down, this box came in real good condition. Like, I, I you know, I, I, I don't care about the box to be honest sometimes. Sometimes I do if it's real, it's pretty, and I like the box, even though this has a dope box. Like, check out the, check out the front here. So it's got like a, like, a, it looks like a comic book cover. It probably is one of the comic book covers. There's so many. I, I don't even know what it is. Um, it would have been cool if they actually made it look like, like the actual comic. And they had the little thing on the side here. And then all the, you know, stuff. Oh, man. That would have been cool. But the illustrations on 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 the figure, on, I mean, on the box itself is is beautiful. So I might as well keep this box. It's, it's pretty dope. <laughs> I might as well. The last Ronin Armored. So, yeah, I, I haven't seen... The unarmored version uh, hit Al, um, AliExpress yet, but man, I, as soon as it does, in my hands, baby. So check out the other side here, and then take a look at the back. It's got the last Ronin, and then it's got a uh, bio of the last Ronin. Um, you know, you, so for those of you who are ready, you know what happens. It's 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 <laughs> it's good. It's good. I really need to finish it, but like then it's like when I finish it, where do I go from here? You know, so I don't know. <laughs> so maybe I'll do that to, uh, later today. Let's get into this and see what this guy is all about. Okay, so first, let me open it up and show you because I forgot to do this. <laughs> so there's him standing there in all his glory, all his weapons on him. This is oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, I can't wait. Look at him in this package right there. Yeah. And I got some turtles on over there. So I was watching the uh, 2000 series. I'm still working on that video of, of uh, top 10. I just got to really crack down on, you know, I got to see. I was like looking for later seasons on if there's any characters that I might want to add. But so far, my top 10 is, 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 is pretty solid. But just in case there's some, you know, see, like season 4 and 5, I just want to check to make sure there's no, no one I'm leaving out. So, all right, yo, let's get into this. So a quick rundown of, of just scale here. We're going to do him next to uh, Secret of the Ooze Wrath and uh, Universal Monsters Leo. So you can see the scale on him. So he's going to come up just shy, like a few, few centimeters short of uh, seven inches. So that's about the height on this guy. Okay, so here is the last Ronin figure, and this thing is crazy. Like, the amount of accessories this thing comes with is insane. Um, like, I don't even know where to start. Um, he comes with a lot of stuff. <laughs> he comes with a lot of stuff. Like, holy crap, I was surprised. Like, this is probably the most accessories I've ever seen come with one figure, you know? But let's take a, let's just go over, let me move some of this stuff to the side so I don't lose it. So let's go over just the overall look of the figure. This thing pops straight out of the comic book, man, from top to bottom, back to front. It, it's, it's such an incredible looking figure. Now, I usually, I do collect some of the Mirage stuff and some of the comic book stuff. Like, I got the black and white turtles. Yo, that shredder, that new black and white shredder is dope. I gotta get that. Black and white foot, gotta get that. Um... But I try to mostly stay away from the Mirage stuff. But last run and stuff, I might have to dip my toes in that a little bit. Get, you know, get all four brothers. Um, yeah, like I might have to be all in in this line because 
just look at the, the it looks so incredible you got the, the details on the outfit on the clothes and everything you got the shading it just looks incredible i yeah i i gotta dip my toes in and, and see what happens man so that's oh man like they, they there's a little bit of like their, their sculpt work and then they got the soft goods too so yo I'm, I'm telling you man if you don't sleep don't sleep on this don't sleep on this don't sleep on these figures man I'm telling you um but yeah man this this thing is this thing is dope and just the, look at the look on the face the look on the face he's pissed he's about to go he's about to go ham all right man like I, uh, yeah <laughs> that, yeah definitely read that comic i gotta get back to it i gotta you know what? i'm gonna finish it today so i can see what happens and then it's yeah i gotta maybe i should jump back into some of the older mirage stuff and just maybe maybe i'm missing out on something i don't know because like the butanimals i'm not like big on those guys and you know maybe maybe i need to dip my toes into that too but then you know cost money when you want to buy figures but Regardless of all that, that's just me ranting and rumbling and, and mumbling. Um, I want to give you guys a closer look at this, so maybe I'm going to flip the camera and we'll take a look that way. Okay, so here's another look at Ronin. So I want to give you a real, like, nice close-up of this guy, because you got to see these details, man. Um, there, there, look, there's, like animation not well not animation lines but like like this the lines comic book lines and everything on there you can see the scratches they even like colored in like the like the the scratches and the, and the claw marks it, it's so it's so well detailed like it's it's blowing my mind right now so let's go over our articulation on this guy so one thing i noticed right off the jump is that this piece is actually a separate piece so the hood comes off and then there's a little plug in the back that plugs into where his, um, the, the tie off for his bandana would go. So that's cool. So that just slides right in, in there. You're not going to be able to see it. You'll have to feel around, but it's, it fits on there pretty snug. So with the hood on, let's see articulation in the head. Let me see. Oh, you can see it. Okay. Plug that in the back. Oh, there we go. We got it. We got it. Okay. So you can go left. You can go right. I'm probably doing that wrong. This is left. This is right. Um, up. You're not gonna get good range up. Uh, down. Yeah, you're gonna get a little bit down. It's better left than right. Without the hood on. Let's see what we got here. Up. You're gonna get a little bit better up with the uh, with the hood off. You still got. You can go right. You can go left. You can go down about the same amount so not too much of a difference i mean you can get him looking up like that not too much of a difference with the hood so let's plug this back in here like so okay now for the rest of articulation uh let's see now the shoulders here should be on a ball joint that's super tight like i should have heated this thing up so the shoulders are on a ball joint, so you're going to go up, down. It's super tight, so I can't get it. That's about as far up as I'm getting it right now. Oof. Uh, so we got the, let's see, doubles at the elbows? With the armband on, and that looks like it moves around. Yes, there are doubles. So there are doubles in this elbow joint here. So that's cool. You got the swivels at the wrist. wrist. You got the hinge joint. So most of these are pretty much standard, what you're going to see with NECA figures. Um, then you got a swivel at the waist there. So you get a pretty good left and right. Uh, you can go down a little bit and not too far back. But the shell, it doesn't look like he even has a shell. Okay. And then, uh, so this piece is a real flexible plastic. So you could actually probably get his legs in a sitting pose if you wanted to. So you can get him in a sitting pose because this it's really... A nice soft plastic and i like that uh so you're gonna have balls at the thighs you have doubles at the knees there so you can get those in a nice bending pose and the joints are super tight i can't even complain because the joints are super tight and these, this guy ain't gonna be falling over shelf diving anytime soon so that's awesome um and then you got ball joints at the at the ankle here and then he's got a nice nice rocker too and then you got the hinge so look at that man you're gonna need him in some crazy poses because this guy he goes all out man 
<laughs> so that's awesome. Yeah, just yeah, you might have to heat this guy up because his arms are they're gonna it's gonna it's gonna hinder the articulation up here because of the shoulder pads. But like he should have a better range of movement, but it's super tight. So I'm gonna have to pop I'm gonna have to heat that up. Let's see what other hidden goodies we can find on this guy. So he's got his belt on here. So it looks like he can definitely store a couple of his weapons. Uh, did any of these open up? Because sometimes that could be putting that hidden stuff in there and you got to figure it out or you got to see somebody else do it. So none of this opens up. This come off. No, nope, nope. Hood comes off. Got this piece in the back. Definitely weapons are going to be stored in here, here, here. And that's about it. I kind of dig how he has two different knee pads there. So that's pretty cool. Got the shit. He's got the uh, the forearm guards here. So that's nice. It's such a weird look for a Ninja Turtle because we're used to seeing them like wearing nothing. <laughs> and now this guy's all decked out and like this crazy Ronin armor. So that's pretty cool. All right. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you the hands. So he's going to come with two fists. Two fisticuffs. Then he comes with two sets of gripping hands. So you got the grips. Let's see if I can get closer on that. And then two sets of open hands. Two sets of opens. Then I'm going to show you. Now he comes with an extra head. So he's got this extra like screaming head here. So that's pretty cool. Get a good look at that. I'm like all over the place here. And then what you could do is pop off the little bandana piece. And then there's a shorter one. So you could also pop this on. That's where that hole comes in place for not only the hood, but it actually comes in, in play, uh, into play for these guys. So you got a short one and a long one, and it's going to work on both. So let's pop this other head on see what that looks like. Pops off pretty good. Pop that back on there. Okay. And then that's what he looks like with that screaming, angry, talking. He, he looks pissed. He's all wrinkly and old. <laughs> and then pop that piece out. And then we're going to pop the hood in and see what he looks like with that. Come on. Nice. Yeah, I'll probably be using this face. I like that one. That's like his battle. That's the battle face right there. That's the battle face. All right. So, got the two heads. Now, these weapons, man, he comes with a lot of stuff. So, he's going to come with these little goggles here. So, he comes with these goggles. And it comes with a flexible piece on the back. So, you could just slide those on there. So, we'll slide them on his big head here. See how well that fits. Oh, there's really nothing to grip onto, so I don't know. Maybe you have to, let me put on a bandana piece here. Slide that underneath. Come on. All right, so maybe that you'll need something to hold that. Yeah, it works better when you have something to grip onto so i put it underneath and then there you go so it looks a little bit better yeah i probably won't be using these it looks like it, it was a translucent red piece i don't i can't really tell or maybe it's not but there is a shine there's like a little there's like shiny red spots like right in the middle of the black it looks like it's a translucent piece and then it was painted over with black and silver but it, yeah maybe not so it looks, pretty, it looks pretty cool, though. So, yeah, it looks like you're going to have to do it like this because other than that, let's see. Yeah, pops right up. Okay. So, there's that. Then, he comes with a Donnie bow. So, that's cool. Does any of this come apart? Nope, doesn't come apart. So, it's all one piece. Nice um, brown wood looking bow staff there. Nice details and weathering on the uh, on the on the wraps, so that's cool. 
He comes with a, a Leo sword. I'm trying to word. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm trying to carefully word things here. So he comes with this nice katana blade. It's got some weathering on it. it looks really nice. Really nice piece there. It also comes with a sheath. So let's see if you can actually put that in there. Oh, sweet. Yeah. So that fits right in there. So the sword goes right in that sheath. Again, now this is going to be that. You better just be careful because it is kind of, it's it's got a little bit of give to it. But I feel like if you, if you give it a little too much, it's going to break on you. But it's it's not as as hard as the uh, the movie figures, Leo swords. But it's, yeah, it's got a little give to it. So definitely more than Leo swords in the movie, definitely. Okay. Then you got a sigh here. So that's a nice sigh. And I believe these are all brand new pieces. These aren't like reuse of the movie stuff. This is all brand new. So you got a side. And of course you got nunchucks. Brand new weapons. So that's always nice to see too. Nunchucks. Got the metal chain there. I'm not sure what this thing is, but it, it looks like it can do some damage. <laughs> Whatever this thing is, it definitely looks like it, it can do some damage. So there's this. He's got a few ninja stars, so he's got four of these cool ninja stars. One, two, three, four. And then he's got this this claw. So that's for you could actually I would use this as an offensive weapon and just throw it at people. <laughs> but you could also use these to climb up walls. I do not know what they're called though. So it's got a nice like shiny silver gloss on there. And then also you got this little, this little bomb here. It's a nice little bomb piece with the red there and the silver paint. So it looks nice. Got a little um, black wash on there too. So yeah, that's it, man. So he, he comes with a lot of stuff. Let's start putting some of this stuff on him. See what he looks like all decked out. So I'm going to put the bow here. See how well this stuff fits in. Ooh, that's, it's, it's a tight fit. So maybe, I don't know exactly where some of this stuff goes. So like you could probably put it like wherever you want to. Like say you put the bow staff here. And you could put the katana blade. Let's see. I'm going to put his side in this one here. Okay, so that's a nice fit there. Um, let's see if that fits. That's going to be kind of tight there fits in a little better here so yeah like there may be specific spots where you can put the weapons or you could just put them wherever you want to because it gives you that option you just put them wherever the heck you want you know and then you could put like a nunchuck where am i gonna put his nunchucks gotta have him holding a weapon yeah shoot man let's switch out some of these hands here we gotta have him holding something <laughs> can't just have him with weapons all over his body and not holding anything um let's see put this hand in we'll give him these so that's what he looks like with the chucks but then again let's switch him out let's put uh, where am i gonna put those chucks though i like having like two spaces for the chucks so we'll put the chucks in the back here now these are tight you're gonna it's gonna be a tight squeeze trying to get some of these weapons in here jeez uh, that's really tight probably not made for the chucks but who cares i'm gonna put them right there because i can do that <laughs> uh let's see what he looks like with this crazy weapon man like this thing looks straight up dangerous so there's a little bit of give in his hand so they are a little tight I'm trying to get i like a tight grip though because i hate like when loose when you know weapons don't fit in the hand and they're all loose Ugh, it's like the worst so he's got this thing. Oh, that looks cool. And then let's swap his other hand out of here and see how that looks. Give me a grabber. Grabbing hand here. And then we'll have him with this claw. Too bad he can't, like, actually put the claw, like, on, you know, on him somewhere. So you can just use it kind of, like, looping in his hand here. 
and just kind of loop it around. So that looks kind of cool, yeah. So there is the last Ronin. So I'm going to be messing around with this guy for, for a little bit till it's time to go to work. Put a ninja star in his hand, too. There's so there's so many display options for this guy too, man. Like look at that. You could you could have him with sign in hand, you could have him just open hand, just anything, man. He's got the sword. So yeah, you guys, yo, if you see this figure, don't sleep on it. Cause cause I I feel like these figures are going to be the new the new hotness, man. Like for real. Um and if yeah, again, if you haven't seen, if you haven't read the comic, go out and read that. I'm gonna finish it up today. Uh, no spoilers, please. No spoilers for anybody else either. Please don't do that, because <laughs> um, that's not cool. We don't want to. We don't want to spoil people. We want them to enjoy it too. So uh, I'm gonna do a little photo work, take some pictures of this guy, have me some fun. And I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Peace.